Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give my first-ish impression slash just recommend um, After the Rain by Jun Mayazuki. This is a vertical release. These are two-in-one omnibuses. So this is four volumes of content here. I don't remember how long this series is. It's no, I was, as far as I remember, I don't think it's very long. I think we're only going to have a few of these omnibuses, but I think it's like eight to ten volumes or something like that uh, of single edition, so we'll only have four or five of these omnibuses. But so far, all that is out is are these two two-in-ones. This is the story about Akira Tachibana here, who is a 17-year-old high school student. She used to be a track and field, like a running, sprinting kind of star. I think she was like the star of the track team, basically. Unfortunately, due to an injury, she is no longer able to run. And so kind of everything, the story starts out already kind of into the plot. The main story of this manga is that she is in love with her manager at the family restaurant that she works at. His name is uh, Kono, and I believe he's probably on the back. Yep, yeah, there he is. So there's Kono, her manager. He's 45 years old, he's divorced, and he is the manager at a family restaurant that Tachibana is, the, uh, is a waitress at, basically. And she's in love with him. She's making it clear that, that she has feelings for him. And basically this is following both of their lives. Uh, it doesn't just follow Akira, it follows both her and Kono. Uh, it's a slice of life kind of thing. I think it's a seinen, uh, or classified as a seinen title. And it is an age gap romance, uh, at least in my eyes. Some people have read this and don't see this as a relationship. I see this as two people from very different points in their lives um, coming together in a way where they're both learning from each other. And they're both growing together. At this point, there hasn't been any kind of physical relationship or anything like that. I don't know if it goes there, but at this point, there there isn't that. But I definitely feel an emotional connection between these two, whether it's kind of surface level or not. Uh, it is insinuated that this is going to turn into something potentially. And therefore, if that's going to bother you, don't pick this up. However, if that doesn't bother you, I highly recommend this series. It sort of has, and maybe this is just my opinion, I don't know if other people will agree, it sort of has a melancholic sort of feeling to it, um, especially the addition of the rain as a, as a use of kind of mood and whatever, but, and tone of the story. But basically this, this girl is 17 years old. The thing that she's devoted her life to up to this point running, uh, all of a sudden is taken away from her. She can't do it anymore. She's not on the track team anymore, even though the, her, her peers are trying to, you know, still include her. She doesn't want to be there. She, she doesn't, she can't run. So why does she want to watch other people run? So she's kind of, from what I feel, attached herself to this, this man that she's put up on a pedestal, that she's, you know, declared her love for, this awkward, dorky, divorced 45-year-old who is in a dead-end job uh, she's somehow fallen in love with and then is very adamant about it. And you have this, this man who is aware of her feelings now. He's a bit kind of slow on the uptake, but, but is, she's making it obvious and, you know, is struggling with the fact that he is, he feels like he wasted his life. He's kind of, stuck where he is. He doesn't know where to go from there. He's not actively trying to do anything differently in his life. And she is calling back to a youth that he feels he missed out on. He kind of sees Akira 
as having so much potential because she's young and there's so much that she can do and he sees kind of himself whether consciously or not as as his life is over you know he's middle-aged and he's he's got nothing left really he just basically just live out his life as he has been he's passionate about reading he's passionate about writing and uh you get to see an old friend of his and that's my favorite part of this story is is Kono interacting with an old friend an old college friend and seeing the difference between her life and and her perceived reality of the situation and then getting to see Kono's side of things and him kind of trying to rationalize what is going on here um and it's just really well done. I I really enjoy this this series. I did watch the anime um and when I found out the manga was getting licensed here immediately pre-ordered it. I there's something so touching about this. I love how um sensitive Kono is to her. He understands that she is 17. She's attractive. There is no doubt about that. She is attractive. She has, she's athletic. She's, you know, smart and whatever. And, and, you know, him being an adult is like, you're a child. You need to, you know, back off, but in a way that's, that's not demeaning to her and, you know, trying to, Every time he tries to prove to her that he's not worth her attention, she just loves him more, which is quite entertaining. It's got a bit of comedy. There's, you know, quirky hijinks that happens at her work, obviously, with her coworkers and whatever, because that's, you know, kind of par for the course. But it's just lovely. I really love it. It's a slow kind of slice of life, but at the same time, there's enough drama to keep you hooked and enough romance to keep you hooked and want to know where this is going to go. It's got a bit of a sad undertone, like I said, and it just, it's hard to explain, but it just, you really, I, at least I do, I really feel it when I'm reading it. And I really can't wait for this series to be finished because it's one that, like, I just want to read all of it at once and I just want to get the whole story all in one sitting. Um, unfortunately, I have to wait for each volume to be released. But if you have not checked out After the Rain yet, I really, really recommend that you do. And it just, there's something about it. And the art is, I really like it. I think that she's adorable. We've got some uh, beautiful color pages. And they're throughout. Since they're two-in-ones, there's more in the middle. You've got kind of, there's the dorky manager. And she's kind of dorky herself, which I really enjoy. She she kind of takes herself a little too seriously. But she has these moments of, of kind of outbursts. She's misunderstood by her peers. She's kind of, uh, she's also misunderstood by Kono. She has these facial expressions. And the way that she carries herself kind of... Um, doesn't correspond with what's going on in her head and so it's kind of funny to, to watch that all play out but anyway after the rain definitely recommend it if you have any questions about it if you've read it i'd love to hear your thoughts thank you for watching see ya